Hey guys, Shadows here with another Titanfall video. Today I'm going to be showing a helpful guide on the fastest and the easiest way to get 50 Arc Cannon kills, which will help you out completing the challenge as it is a requirement at Generation 5. This video will include a lot of helpful tips, the preferred game mode you should be playing, and also the perfect class setup to get the kills the fastest and the easiest way. So starting off with the game mode you should be playing, this is campaign multiplayer, especially the attrition missions as some are hardpoint which you want to skip. The reason why is because there's a lot of new players to take on which of course is much easier easier and less of a challenge but also less titans to battle at once because you need to be using the arc cannon weapon which is very very hard to use against multiple titans and that's why I don't recommend or condense playing last titan standing as everybody starts in titans. It proves to be too difficult and definitely when you do come across those 1v3 plus situations whether that's 1v3, 1v4, 1v5 or even 1v6 you can't take on that many titans using the arc cannon primary titan weapon. So my next tip for you guys is to take your time and charge the weapon whenever you can. The Arc Cannon can be charged and will deal increased damage the longer you charge the weapon and it's held. Just take your time with it depending on the situation and the scenario you're in. And whenever you can fully charge the Arc Cannon for that maximum damage, of course do so at any means necessary. Moving on to the class setup though, starting off with the Titan I use, which is the Atlas Titan. This is because you have two boosts available and also a decent amount of health, enough boosts to get away in a hectic battle, but also enough health to stay at the battle out for an extra kill towards the challenge if you can. You also have the core ability damage core which definitely helps out by increasing your damage helping out a step further to rack up those kills more easily. The primary weapon of course needs to be the arc cannon however I use it just as it is without the only attachment available because the attachment when you do have it equipped you have to fully charge the weapon to fire a shot off but like I said earlier you don't always have enough time to fall a fully charged shot and so leaving the weapon out factory issue will definitely help out a lot. The tactical ability I use is the particle wall and this is because you can set up a barrier of defense while you fully charge your weapon as doing so leaves you defenseless if you don't have a particle wall set up which definitely becomes very very annoying trying to charge a weapon up and just getting taken out very very easily. The ordnance I use is the cluster missile and this is because it is very effective at nearly taking out enemy titans by depleting their shields and half its health at the very max only if any way the enemy does titan does stay within the radius that the cluster missile gives you. Even at the worst though the cluster missile does take it down officially the shield giving you an easy kill with maybe one two or sometimes at the worst three fully charged shots. Lastly the two kits or the perks I use in the titan low out are the dash quick charger if sometimes you do get too many titans attacking you and having two dashes become available quicker than normal it offers enough time to get away and rethink your strategies or regroup with allied titans the second kit i use which is the core extender giving me that extra amount of time when using the damage core at the right time to maybe squeeze an extra kill or two before it goes offline so there you have it guys some tips for getting the 50 arc cannon kills for the challenge the fastest and the easiest way as well as what titan class setup you should be using make sure to subscribe subscribe it here if you aren't ready to the channel and are new give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below if i did help you guys out thank you very much for watching and until next time i will see you on the next one Come on,